watching us online and we want your full participation. So you're welcome to text any questions that you have to me directly. Um, that phone number is 971-219-7271. Again, that's 971-219-7271. If you can, please send me your uh, name and your uh, media affiliation along with your question and we will get to it um, at the end of the program. So Chair Smith has a few words and then uh, we will open it up for questions. So uh, Chair Smith. Thank you, Kimberly Dinwiddie. I'm Tootie Smith, Chair of the Clackamas County Board of Commissioners, and I'm here today to discuss the release of election results for the May 17 primary. First of all, I want to thank the news media for being very vigilant in reporting this situation and getting the word out. First of all, there is a bright side to this situation. It is that we have had a significant voter turnout on election day with over 31 trays of ballots that were delivered to the county elections office to be counted this morning. That tells me the voters have faith in our process and the assurances given that their voices will be handled securely and carefully. And the most critical outcome right now is honoring those who have voted to get the final verified numbers as quickly and securely as possible. We as a county commission are expecting the election department to be accountable to every voter in Clackamas County. We will assist them by supplying additional people and any other resource necessary to ensure a timely accurate election process and honoring voter integrity. The fact that they were behind in issuing, issuing results is no surprise. They have known about the blurred barcodes for weeks. They must take the steps necessary to correct this problem they knew about weeks ago. Hand processing of the ballots is slow and tedious work that has to be done accurately and in this case, briskly. They need much more capacity to do that, and Oregon law dictates the process that must be used in this case. While the county clerk is an independently elected official, the county commission can provide resources. Our county administrator is redeploying over 200 county employees to assist in this process. Those employees will work two shifts starting tomorrow, seven to six every day until the vote is completed. Facility space at elections is being expanded to accommodate the increased staff. I have been and I will continue to be on site regularly to observe the process as any member of the public is allowed to do so and I invite anybody down to view the process. Even with the limited authority over the elections process, you can expect vigilance on the part of the county commission. This is an all hands on deck moment. Here at Clackamas County, we are people who know how to pull our boots on and get the job done for our residents. Nothing less is expected for, from our own county clerk, Sherry Hall, who said she is committed to providing updated results daily until all votes are counted. Thank you, and I will entertain any questions at this time. Lisa. Chairwoman, um, as you mentioned, this has been known about for weeks. Why wasn't adequate staffing in place to my county administrator offered additional staff immediately and any resource. Sherry Hall uh, did not take us up on that offer immediately, and I think you would have to ask her why they didn't do it immediately. But clearly that was a big mistake, a second mistake. I believe it was a mistake not to make um, assurances because it was predicted that a 30% voter turnout, right? And in Clackamas County's case, there were 307,000 ballots mailed. That's about 90,000 ballots that they knew that they had to remedy to make good to, in order to run through the voting machine. 
I have insisted with her, as my other commissioners and county staff has, that she needs to correct the problem and move forward. You know, you talk about this 200, oh, sorry, Trisha, uh, air modification news. Um, the, hi. You uh, talk about these 200 employees that are going to be employed in these two shifts every day. Now, are they going to be helping duplicate the ballots, count the ballots? What exactly are they going to be doing? Well, you know, this is the hand processing of the ballots is, is somewhat confusing. What those county employees will be doing is duplicating the ballots onto a clean ballot. One person will be reading it, the other will be marking the ballot, and then they switch and double check each other. They're also from two separate political parties that does this. And when that process is done, the duplicated ballots will be put through the voting machine because the clerk is not hand counting them, they are hand duplicating them, and that is provided for in Oregon law. Is 200 employees enough? Well, we have offered a thousand employees. If it takes a thousand employees, then we'll send over a thousand people to do this. Our employees, I'm so um, happy. We had 200 volunteer this, that fast this morning. If we need more, we will do more. And I will see, say the work is hard and tedious, and you can do it about six hours. And you, your your vision is tired, uh, and you're just worn out from that. So the people are not allowed to work back-to-back -back shifts because they need to take a break. Also, not every uh, person will come day after day after day. So we have uh, processes in place to bring on more county employees as necessary. I have to say at Clackamas County, uh, this is a priority. It's all hands on deck. And other jobs uh, will just be on pause uh, until this work is done. You said you offered a thousand. If you were county clerk, how many would you want to have working tomorrow? Yeah. Well, I would have whatever capacity my building allowed, and I would expand capacity at another building. And we do have uh, other buildings available, but but the problem is, by law, we have to allow for a secure place, uh, some security cameras, and we have to allow viewing for the public to see what is going on. So we are making accommodations for that. The facility staff is working hard to do that. And so the facilities you have is 200 enough then a day? Or would you say there should be more? Well, whatever it takes. You know, it's easy math, really. So I went down the other day, and I saw there was 26, 26 people doing it. And initially, somebody told me 26 people are producing 1,500 ballots a day. You do the quick math at, at 90,000 ballots, and you realize that we probably need 80 people a day working on this to get through the number of ballots in a timely fashion, at least 80. So we are prepared with 200. If we need 300, we will send 300. If we need 400, we will send 400, but we will get the job done. I had a quick question. Um, Pen, so, you are? Yeah, I'm April. I'm with Oregon Public Broadcast. How do you do? Um, I just wanted to ask um, to clarify. Uh, the county had offered help. When did they offer it? Was it when it was clear that there was a problem? Was this a week before, two weeks before the election day? Second question I had is where are all of these employees coming from? Are mm -hmm. they already county staff? Are they coming from a temp agency? Mm -hmm. Are they trained to do this kind mm -hmm. of work? Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, we offered uh, help the moment that we knew about the problem. And I believe maybe it was two weeks ago. I don't have a definite date for that. The um, county employees are people who are currently employed in one of these two buildings, and, and our other election officials have also offered up their people. They will be trained in how to do it. Our county employees work briskly and intelligently. They have um, work skills, they have life skills, which lends them to be able to do this work in a timely manner. How is uh, taking away from their normal day jobs impacting the county? Well, it might have an impact. We'll just have to see. But this is number one priority right now, and we have to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Drew Reeves, KPTV. In the emergency meeting this morning, uh, it was mentioned that in six hours, somebody got through 144 ballots. Mm -hmm. At that rate, mm -hmm. this could take quite a while. To well, that was, that was one team. And we had, initially we had 26 teams. We can broaden that to 40 teams at two shifts. 
So if you can do the, do the math, I, I can't do that math standing here, obviously. So if we had 80, uh, 80 people, which is 40 teams to put uh, double shifts, you can do the math and figure that out. Now that may not be enough. It's up to the county clerk to determine, uh, to do the math and figure out if we need to have more teams or whatever we need to do. It really is a math problem, isn't it? I, I think we can all add and subtract and figure out what needs to be done. Yes, any other questions? Kimberly? Yes. Um, okay, um, Chair Smith, we did have one from um, Grant Stringer at the Oregonian. Um, Grant asks, uh, is, is, are we, will the county receive help from the Secretary of State or other Oregon counties to do this work? Um, yes, um, Shamia Fagan, and I've been in conversation with her, has offered Sherry Hall help with it, everything that she needs, and Sherry Paul is an independently elected official. It is up to her to accept that help. We also could be bringing in election officials from two other counties who process ballots similarly to Clackamas County, and those counties are Yamhill and Marion County who use barcodes on their ballots, and I believe that is available. It's up to the clerk uh, to, to make that decision. And she hasn't made that I don't know if she has made that decision or not. Yeah. Yeah, Kimberly, any more questions? Those are all the questions that we have today. Sir. It, it seems that there's still not a concrete timeline. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't give an end date now, June 13th. Mm -hmm. But there's no actual timeline, am I correct? Or is it that question was asked by one of my commissioners in this morning's meeting, as you could see, and I cannot give an accurate timeline when these ballots will be counted. I think we need to have full employment of the staff available to see how fast that they can go through the ballots, and I think that determination can be made by our county clerk in a couple of days, and that would be up to her to determine based on past performance what the future deadline looks, if that makes sense. Yeah. Can I ask one more then? Sure. I mean, I know the county clerk's an autonomous, but she's going to have an autonomy. Mm -hmm. But seeing what's happening here, is there anything you see the county commission can do in the future to keep this from happening again? Well, um, I think we have to um, let the clerk analyze what the mistakes are and what improvements she can take in improving mm -hmm. the processes that she currently uses. And we can encourage her to do that. We can help her implement new processes. We can provide funding to make sure those processes are in place and this doesn't happen again. This was a big mistake. It was a huge mistake. And it's not one that I'm happy with at all. But this is the hand we're dealt. We have to fix it and we have to move forward. Yes. Well, last question. Um, how did the new uh, law, the new post-stamp law impact mm -hmm. this? How did it impact the timeline? It sounded like you guys discussed it in the meeting and I was, mm -hmm. it kind of was over my head. Well, I'm grateful for the new timeline because it's allowing us more time. Uh, the only assurance that I can give to anybody is that we have a deadline by June 13th for certification of the ballots. And it's allowing for more ballots to come in, for instance, um, how many trays were picked up today, Kimberly? 31. 31 trays were picked up today. Today. And that was an allowance in the new law. So people who wait or don't understand what's going on, those ballots were able to come in and their votes will be honored. Chair Smith, we have one more question from Anthony Edinger at the Willamette Week. He would just like to clarify that it's 90,000 ballots that are affected. Um, well, possibly 90,000 ballots. I'm not sure what the turnout is. Um, at 307,000 ballots that were mailed, 30% is around 90,000. Uh, and that is the election ballots. And then there's a second ballot that was mailed, the PCB, PCP ballots, the precinct committee people ballot that is set aside. And so you, it, there's a possibility uh, that double that amount if people sent them in. So there could be much more, but we're concentrating right now on the people who stood for election in the individual offices. Um, do you feel like there needs to be an audit or something more like an outside investigation into what happened that's caused this, as you said, huge mistake to happen? 
Mm -hmm. um, the clerk has said um, what she thinks uh, has happened, and we had a business meeting last Thursday, and she cited several areas where she felt that uh, mistakes were made. Uh, she used a printer and bin that she's been using for 10 years, and the barcodes came back blurred. And there's a certain type of paper, from what I understand, that you use, either long grain or short grain, and maybe the correct paper wasn't used or the toner wasn't matched. Um, so it's, it's really complicated. It's really up to the clerk. Um, ironically, uh, our internal auditor did audit our elections division um, just this last year, <clears throat> and those results have been made public. And uh, there were areas of opportunity for improvement cited by our internal auditor. And um, we have been dis in discussions with Sherry Hall on that. Uh, there were four major areas of improvement. She abided by two of them, and two of them are still sitting on the table. Yes? And has Clerk Hall explained to you at all why she denied help from the county or the Secretary no. of State's office? I don't know that she denied it. She hasn't totally accepted it yet. I don't know why. But originally when she was offered the help, why did she decline? I don't know. But you said you offered her the help. I did. She says, okay, I'll think about it. And you didn't press it? I did. You're going to need it? I did press it. I did press it. And I'm doing whatever I can, and my board is doing whatever I can. It is on Sherry Hall. She's the one that is, runs the elections division. My board of county commissioners and our staff does not. We're just ensuring that we have adequate resources available to make sure that the ballots are counted in a timely and accurate and secure manner. Is that it? Thank you all for coming. Appreciate it very much. Just so you know, um, Clerk Hall will be available at 4 p.m. today in this room. We will also stream that on YouTube, on our YouTube channel as well. Um, so for those of you who can't be here, you can watch that on YouTube and text me your questions. Um, for those of you who need to, you can use this space if you do choose to cover um, Clerk Hall at 4 o'clock today. So um, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you.